Hey everyone, this will be a collective reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending you all love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with all of you. Please take it resonates and leave the rest. But if you have birth chart placements in Sagittarius or you are dealing with someone that does have birth chart placements in Sagittarius, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested, click the join button below. Or you can find more information about joining in the description box. You can also find information there about private readings. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. All right. What is going on with my Sagittarius Collective at this time? So we have the Eight of Swords. We have the Nine of Wands. We have Death, Scorpio Energy. And we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Something came to an end here, or it's about to. Looks like it could be a divorce. It could be an ending of a long-term relationship. Um, some type of family situation. Something like that. Come up the Eight of Swords. Mmm. Somebody either went back to a situation or they they left it they weren't they were refusing to leave a bad situation. Yeah, they may have even felt trapped there. Tell me about the nine of wands. I feel like somebody felt like they couldn't leave a situation because they weren't financially stable. Okay, guys, with the nine of pentacles in reverse and the nine of wands, like somebody felt like it's like So almost like somebody felt like they had too much. Like they, I don't even know, but. They may be close to finally leaving that situation, but it may leave them in a, in a bad financial place. All right, so what about death? We have the sun in reverse, Leo energy. So what, somebody's not happy about an ending. Let's see, talk about the ton of pentacles in reverse, the star. Hmm. What is, what's the star Aquarius energy? The five. Somebody's trying to improve their money, guys. So like, someone's trying to like fix their finances here. Yep. What's this have to do with Sagittarius? So the nine of cups reverse and the nine of swords. Somebody's not happy. Why? You, ooh, you guys are mad at this person. Why are why are they the Queen of Wands in reverse? Um They yeah, they were being they, this person was very emotionally immature and very emotionally manipulative, okay? And I feel like um this person did something that was extremely selfish or just something that was extremely cold or manipulative to, to how does Sad feel about this? The Knight of Cups, the Page of Wands in reverse. You feel like this person never really put any effort and work into you. Yeah, something's changing though with the, the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's coming back, but they're moving towards you very slowly. But it's possibly because they had to, to end some type of situation where there was like history there or they had been with that person for quite some time. Yeah, something's coming to an end. Something that was very toxic. All right. Um, and at some point, I think this person couldn't see how toxic it was. Okay. Um, or this is you take out resonate. Somebody is moving towards you very slowly though. Um, but they're not, I don't, I don't know. What is the energy they're coming towards Sajin? Not good. Okay. Not good energy. Knight of wands in reverse. This person's very unstable. Yeah. I feel like there will be delays. This person may be even, what is this person mad about? Or what is this? The three of cups. Are they still coming towards you with a third party? Tell me about the three of cups. The temp it's just they're really off balance. Maybe this person's gonna want to be friends with you with the three of cups. What is the three of cups? Judgment, Scorpio energy, and the king of wands, Aries Leo Sag energy, the hierophant. It's like somebody's waking up to the like somebody tried to like have friends with benefits with you or just be friends with you. There was like a lack of reciprocity in this situation, a lack of balance. Um 
I feel like now somebody's had some type of wake up call or uh, karma or something like that. Now they feel like they want to have a commitment, but they had to release something else. Yeah, I see the magician though. Be, be careful this person trying to tell you that they have left this situation all the way and they haven't. Um, it does, yeah. What does this have to do with my collective? Can they see the Ace of Cups in reverse? The Queen of Pentacles. What about, what's this have to do with Sag? The Tower, the Chariot, and the Seven of Cups. Somebody made some type of like stupid decision to move towards a situation where there was no love, but maybe somebody had some money um, and they couldn't see the situation for what it was. How'd that work out for them? Doesn't look like it was great. Well, it was their karma. It it, it brought, it was to, to happen this way to bring about change. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me more. Yep. But um, what does that have to do with my collective? It's almost like... um. They don't want to move on from you. They haven't moved on from you. How does this person feel about Sag? How does this person feel about my Sag collective spirit? How do they feel about my Sag collective? They feel like you're a missed opportunity. They may feel like you're ignoring them, that you're not really like having any feelings for them at this time. You're like, they feel ignored by you. They're, they, they're rethinking things when it comes to you, though. Yeah, temperance. They want to reconcile, guys. That's all I can say is they want to come back together, Sagittarius energy. But see, why is the chariot in reverse, though? Maybe there's a blockage to the two of you reconciling. What's the chariot in reverse? Oh, seven of cups in reverse. Okay, and now what? The six of swords. Whatever was keeping this from moving forward, they see it for what it is now. And they're ready to, like, kind of... They're, they're learning the lesson and they're moving on from it. So now what's the outcome going to be here? Uh, I still don't feel like this person's ready, but why? Queen of Swords. This could be because you guys working on what? There's something about this person's, what their, their ability to get. It's like, how do I say this? There's something about you guys feeling like they can't give to you in the way that they, that you give to them. And you're not really for that right now. Like you're like, is it either it's going to be balanced or I don't want anything to do with you. See, the lovers. It's like they, they ended something and now things can be, they think things can be successful between the two of you. How do you guys feel about it? Mm, no, you don't. You don't think it can manifest into anything. You don't want to have a new start at this. You're still thinking about what this person did to you in the past. The breakup, the heartbreak, the toxicity. Yes. How this person invested no time or energy into you and how you had to recover and you have been recovering from this. Yeah. Yeah. Now they want to see, now they've gained some type of clarity that you are their wish fulfillment. They're seeing things for what it is. Yeah, they've gained some type of new perspective about you that, yeah, but I don't know if you guys are going to be able to let go of what this person did to you in the past. That's what I'm seeing is like possibly going to keep this from moving forward is you guys not knowing if you can, you know, forgive this. Per it's like you're still, you're angry at this person. There's resentment here. So the reason why they weren't choosing you or whatever they did is because they were in some type of illusion about another situation or about the whole situation in a whole, like you, another person, whatever else. Like they weren't seeing something from what it was um, for whatever reason, but tell me more. See, we see this person walked away from you or they let you go or they let you walk away. And it says when they set you free, they felt the sting from your absence. Don't let their silence fool you. We have the journey. This love journey may be long and challenging, but so long as they are, you are with them, you'll never walk alone. Okay. Leap of faith. They did not expect this love to run this deep. They're putting their pride aside and taking that leap of faith. Tell me more. Potential. They're deep in their thoughts about you, realizing their distractions prevented them from seeing the potential. I told you. The, uh, it was like they couldn't see it. They couldn't see you. They couldn't see. But they had some type of tower moment where it's helped them gain clarity. And now that's what's triggering them to take a leap of faith. So what was keeping this person from seeing you for who you really were or what the potential of this? I don't know. But Sears says they're seeing the truth now. But what was keeping them from seeing the truth? 
I don't know, guys. You know what's making this person see the truth about you is the fact that you're distancing yourself from them. You're pulling your energy back, yeah. They feel you leaving them behind. What is the tower moment for this person? They've gone through a tower. Was the, the tower you? Because it says that they fear your wrath. They know, they know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted effort. Tell me more. I just really feel like you guys kind of put your foot down with this person and you pull back your energy. And it's, it's made this person realize some things. Yeah, beauty and grace. They find you extremely beautiful, but your beauty intimidates them. They think someone else is more deserving. It's like they can't forget you. Yeah, even if they walked away from you or you walked away from them, they can't forget you. They can't stop thinking about you. They feel like nobody is you. They feel like they're they constantly, they're, they're feeling drawn to you, feeling very passionate about you. Yeah, unquenchable thirst for you. Yep, the separation. They maybe chose to like, they chose to go down a different path. But it's like now they're wanting to be like, look, like, I don't want this to be over. I don't want this to be the end. I think we can, you know, fix this and work this out. This is kind of similar to Leo's reading that I just did. So some of you guys to be dealing with a Leo. Yeah, but you guys definitely set boundaries with this person. Maybe they weren't. Yeah, look at this. You guys definitely put your foot down with this person. You make them putty in your hands. They know their old conquering ways will not work with you. Yep, you were sick of the mixed signals. You were sick of the toxicity. And you could have also been sick of the people that they had around them. They have toxic influences around them. And they definitely had a toxic third party. All right. How are they going to be like... It's like now they're seeing the possibilities of what you guys could have, but they definitely chose somebody or something over you here. They thought that at the time that was the best decision for them, but they weren't seeing something clearly. What were they not seeing? See, they're watching you. What, what were they not seeing that made them choose somebody that... It's something about... It says they're clearing negative ancestral patterns that were passed down through the generations. Don't rush the journey. So that could have something to do with it. They were like maybe like repeating some type of bad pattern or something like that. Yeah, they they were resisting this connection heavily. The unknown. They just thought you were too scary. They thought you were too foreign. Um, they were afraid that you were too good to be true. But they can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, so they're about to leave the situation, guys. They're going to choose to. Yeah, they've been waiting for you to come back to them, though. Of course, we have the twin flame card coming out. I told you, they're very close to... There's a cycle that's about to be over here. What are they plotting? They're plotting because they're in regret. But what are they trying to plot? What are they plotting? How to conquer these fears and... Yeah, or how to overcome this dark side that they have. And yeah, they're emotionally unavailable. What's the... Oh my God. The family tree and the old wounds. I'm telling you. There's something to do with their family. Their family was a big factor in the way that they were raised in their childhood wounds and yeah, kept them from seeing that the two of you could have been a power couple. They miss, they want the, the, the passion with you. They want the sex with you. Yeah, something is getting, they definitely chose a situation of, um, for money. Okay, guys, like, or they were just very focused on money and career and they chose that over you. Okay, so. What else do they need to know about this person? Spirit. What else do they need to know about this person? We have keep it 100. Okay, so maybe they want to finally come in and be authentic with you. Maybe they're starting to be more honest with themselves. Yeah, avoid hidden motives, be honest. So maybe they want to tell you the truth about something. See, finesse though. Getting something in a slick way, smoothing things out, steel, buttering up, persuade. This person's not used to being authentic. Yeah, forthcoming. They're not used to that. Yeah, low key. To not announce something, to treat with little emphasis, secretly not show a hidden info. Yeah, this person never comes in and reveals everything to you. So what does that have to do with keeping it 100? Are they coming in authentic? What are they mad about? Sudden change of mood. Feeling someone did you wrong. Upset, bitter, annoyed, jealous. In their feelings. Why are they in their feelings? Because you're you're looking good and you're better without them. You're doing well without them. It's, it's almost like this person knows that they can't come towards you with the bullshit anymore. You're gonna see what you've you've grown and you've changed and you can see right through the bullshit. Capricorn had a reading like this, I think, last week. They know you can, they can't finesse you anymore. They have to either come towards you telling you the truth or you, you're not going to have anything to do with them because you guys have leveled up. Yeah. What about, okay, Boomer, side hustle.
see, they were like staying in some type of like, they were re resisting change when it came to their finances or something like that. How they make ends meet. Okay, Boomer and Side Hustle. Many look up to you, the spotlight famous. Okay, what about the Savage? Digital Detox. Extra. Who, who's being dramatic here? Who's, who's, what's this extra mean for my collective? Somebody's watching you. Yeah, they're watching you and, um, they're gonna, what are they about to do here? Ooh, that card just flew. See, this card flew out all weird. So it's something to do with this. Are they gonna, who's, let's see, I'm gonna get a clarifier on it. What is this? What is low key? What are they about to do here? They, they're going to do something dumb. That's all I can see here. They're going to approach you in a dumb way. Like they're still good. Maybe this person. Okay. Maybe the tower moment hasn't happened yet, guys. Maybe they're the tower is going to hit them when they try to come towards you with the facade. You see right through them. They realize you've changed. Somebody else had a reading like that too. I think it was Capricorn. Um, They're going to come towards you with the try to wear the facade, wearing the mask. Um, you're only going to maybe e possibly consider entertaining them if they come towards you authentic and open and honest and tell you the truth about something. I And they, it's like the crazy thing about it, guys, that they have these deep feelings and emotions for you that they don't want to tell you. So I think they're going to come towards you and they're going to be kind of acting like, you know, keeping secrets, hiding info, trying not to open up about their feelings and emotions, not taking accountability for things. And that's not going to go well for them. Okay. Cause I see that they're going to, they're going to be disappointed with the outcome. They're probably going to start being, getting really emotional. Like if you reject them or you turn them away, what's going to happen here? See they're Yeah. It's like they're subtly expressing that they're jealous or something. What? Yeah. You guys are, you're feeling something here. I'm telling you, you guys have been like trying to, you're looking good but what is it point of view yeah what is your intuition telling you here that the person hasn't changed yeah your intuition is telling you that this person hasn't changed the way you feel about this person isn't the same either so i feel like you guys are going to choose to you don't and you're, you've gotten to this point where you don't need this person anymore like if you had any little bit of codependency when it came to this person you have um killed that part of yourself like you know you're no longer codependent so you've, you've gotten rid of that. So if this person's coming towards you trying to love bomb you or, you know, thirsty for attention, I don't think that that's going to work out for them like it used to. OK, I think they're going to be pretty shocked. Um, They're not going to like this. OK, like either they're going to have to come in and be honest and it's like they're realizing they're going to have to be authentic and honest with you about some things if they ever want to get a chance with you again. And then, even then, I don't know if you guys are going to take them back. Anything else they need to know, Spirit, before I wrap this one up and take it over to the extended reading? I forgot these cards over here. Anything else they need to know? See, that card keeps coming out vibe. They're telling you to listen to your intuition. Yeah, you're in, they're telling you that your intuition is on point. So when, when this person comes in, Spirit says, whatever you're, 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 the vibe you're getting or whatever your intuition is telling you about the situation, believe it. Because Spirit says it's the truth that this person, look, avoiding making any real effort, keeps one's options open, mind games, non-committal. That's what your intuition is going to be telling you about this person. That they're just trying to want to come in and sleep with you. Yeah, a romantic chill date at home, sexual chemistry, bait and switch. They're going to try to reel you back in. They do feel you pulling your energy back. Yep, sexual activity, dating. Yep, they're not planning to really give you anything. So, and I think you guys are going to tell them like, sir, ma'am, I know you're trying to play me right now and you're not going to get away with it. And you're going to call this person out and um, uh, what, what was that going to lead to? See, they're going to be mad. I'm telling you. What about slut shaming? Thirsty. This person really wanted to sleep with you. I don't like this. The crazy, thing, like I said, guys, I see that this person has deep feelings and emotions for you. They're not ready to express that to you or show you that part of themselves. They're not ready. But I think that like when they come towards you and they realize that this is not going to work anymore and that it's going to be a big tower moment for them. Because I think up until that point or up until this point, they for some reason thought that you were the same person. Like they could just come back and treat you like they did before. And um, yeah, you're leaving. You don't... <laughs> 
you're not interested in this anymore. I feel like this is this energy that this person's coming towards you and is very unappealing to you. Yeah, they had like an outdated perception of you. They were still thinking you were the old Sag. You're the new one now. Yep. Yeah, and um, what is the Insta famous? Oh, is this person about to want to give you more recognition now? Yeah, not yeah. Tell me more. Yeah, having the power to influence. Persuader. Can't even what? Let's see. They're just, they are trying. To, they're going to try to come in and influence your decision to walk away from them. They're not going to be telling you the full truth about some things. I don't feel like you guys. For some of you, this person played you in the sense that like they tried to portray themselves in a way that wasn't true. Like who they portrayed themselves to be at first, they switched up on you. It's just like there's this energy of like you and you guys, you see them for who they are now. Whoever they were trying to convince you they were, you don't see them as that person anymore. So, and I feel like you're going to fight for yourself now. You're not going to let this person walk on, walk all over you anymore. Yeah. What is ghosted? Benching. See, this person kind of thought that this was just a temporary break. What does this mean for my collective specifically, Spirit? What does this mean for my, I don't know, some of you guys are not 100% done with this person, but you don't want them to know that, if that makes any sense. Like, you don't want them to know that. If, if you guys do talk to this person, I just don't see you giving them too much of your energy, not at first until, yeah, this person, like, watches you. They're kind of low-key obsessed with you. Tell me more. You're just not a, with this anymore. You're going to be kind of avoiding this person. Yes, definitely avoiding them, dismissing them. What is high? Until they, there's something that you feel this person needs to say to you. And until they say it to you, you're like, no, we're done. Like, I don't have any interest. All I want from you is the truth. Like, that's for what some of you guys are saying. They something needs to be brought out into the open. And until you do that, I don't think you'd even you don't even want to talk to this person. And they're gonna be mad. Okay. They're gonna be mad. Yeah, they're gonna be pissed. Okay. But I feel like you don't want to talk to them. See, what is that? What is side hustle? You guys are gonna just for some of you are gonna end up blocking this person um and just focusing on your money. But they're going to still be watching. See, because they watch you. And um, who is this person that doesn't like you and is watching you? What's, is this this person? But they love bomb you? Who is this other person that's... See, there's people that watch you. Like, it's like people in their circle. Like, there's gossip about you. They're just telling you, be careful what you believe that comes out of this person's mouth. Your intuition is going to be very on point when this person comes back. Um, and it's going to be telling you that you can't trust that, that this person. So what's going to happen, spirit? What's going to happen after, you know, they decide that they're going to dismiss this person? Yeah, they're going to maybe be sending you some type of mixed signals or something like that. Or that's what, see, an awakening. I told you. That's the tower. Them realizing that they don't got you like they thought they got you. Okay. It's going to be a wake up call for this person. Like, oh, shit. The awakening product, look at this, and they're going to feel dumb. I love that. They're going to feel dumb, guys, foolish. They feel like a fool for crossing the line and messing up the connection. Like they, for some reason, guys, up until that point or up until this point, they didn't think that they had irreparably damaged things between the two of you. Like they didn't really see the extent of how they fuck things up. Okay. They're about to. All right. We have the awakening process has begun. They now hold a new understanding of love and recognize the connection. They're not going to recognize this connection until you guys really put your foot down and they're going to be grieving. All right, they're going to be grieving and they're going to be up, they're going to be mad that they chose this person. Whoever this rival is, give me one more and we're done. Guarded. They chose somebody that they didn't have feelings for, guys. All right, they felt like um they had feelings for you so they ran from you. They had a lot of passion for you too, but their perspective is changing. Yep, their their perspective is going to change, but it's like almost like it needs to happen this way cuz this person right now is under the impression that they can just come back and that you'll be there and that they can just still get over on you and that they can just get sex out of you and they don't have to make an investment. They don't have to um, fully commit to you, express any emotions. They can remain emotionally unavailable. So you're just like, all right, well, we got to do something that's going to fix this person's vision. I mean, that doesn't mean you got to take them back, but it's, you know, it's just, I guess that the way that spirit says it's got to happen, but... 
because they're Delulu, okay? They're delusional over there, okay? So this is what I have for you. Um, I am going to take this over to the extended reading. We're going to take a deeper look at what's going to happen going forward after this tower moment. Um, like, if if we can get future, we can, you know, we'll, we'll just see what Spirit has. Anything else that we need to know about this situation going forward. Um, the link will be in the description box, or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. Private reading information can also be found in the description box. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And um, I will see you over in the extended. Bye.